Sports Center right now. Another trip to San Antonio on the line. Brittany Griner taking, well, not just Brittany Griner, but it, she was a one woman show. Turnaround there. She sets an NCAA tournament record for blocks. She's got 35 now. Duke just went ice cold late. A 9 0 run to close for Baylor. They move on to the Final Four. Trey Wingo with more. And the children shall lead them. Nine freshmen and sophomores on the Baylor Lady Bear squad, including the sensation Brittany Griner. They're cutting down the nets. They win the Memphis region. They head to San Antonio, the first to punch their ticket to the Final Four. Welcome into our championship studios. Trey Wingo here with Carol Lawson and the coach, Carolyn Peck. Guys, for most of this second half, it looked like Duke was going to win this game. They had built a big lead, but somehow, someway, with all that youth, Baylor came back, goes on a 10-0 run to seal the Final Four bid. How did they do it? There were two key plays during that stretch. The first was a defensive play by freshman Nene Hayden. She gets a steal with her team down three, feeds it to Melissa Jones, and now they're only down one. And then a play later on the offensive end, they get the ball to 6'8", Brittany Griner, who they had avoided for a lot of the second half, and she's able to make the basket and give them the lead. Well, Baylor had to always believe that they had an opportunity. When you have a 6'8 player on the floor, you can throw passes to her that nobody else can get to. Hey, she was a great benefactor for them on the offensive end and the great stopper for them defensively. Well, she was one block shy of a triple-double. She's now set the record for most blocks in an NCAA tournament. She still has at least one more game to play. Uh, that game next, a national semifinal, could be against UConn, provided UConn, you know, does what they've done for the last 75 games, and that's win a game in their Dayton Regional Final against Florida State. How does Baylor match up if UConn comes through? Well, here's your cause for optimism if, if you're a fan of the Baylor Bears, and they do a couple things really well. One is defend. They held Duke to 23% shooting in that game, and the other one is they have a star in Brittany Griner, a 6'8 freshman that other teams have to game plan and get ready for. Well, what Baylor's got to do is a better job of boxing out. They gave up 19 offensive rebounds to Duke. You can't give up offensive rebounds to Connecticut. You've got Tina Charles and Maya Moore who'll make you pay. They don't miss often, but when they do, those two play cleanup in the paint. And what makes me so excited about this game, it's a, it could be the matchup between Tina Charles and Brittany Griner, by far the two best centers in the country. Again, the freshman has already filled her role in that capacity. They'll be there, Brittany Griner and the Lady Bears. We'll find out Tuesday night if UConn advances with their 76th straight win. The regional final right here on ESPN against Florida State.